Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Monica and I equip, encourage, and empower others through the word of God. And I love to do it. <laughs> so we're back with another quick Monday word. I promise not to be long before you. Maybe I shouldn't say promise because we don't know how the Lord will leave. But I wanted to come, keep my word, be consistent, um, and just check on you all, encourage you all. We're dwindling down. It's about to be Christmas this Saturday. I really believe I kind of been missing my dates because, man, right? It's just been a lot. <laughs> so it's about to be Christmas, and I hope that you all have an amazing, amazing time. Some of you all are probably on break. You're like, thank God these finals are over. Taking a break from work, whatever it is, I really just pray that you rest and enjoy that time and include God in that time because let me tell you, sometimes we could be so burnt out and we just be like, God, Praying right now and reading the Bible is just, <laughs> but I do pray that you include him in your time. Um, so I just kind of want to come today and let you know that God sees you. Um, El Roy, he is the God who sees you. He's the God who knows. He is the God who understands your frustration, your tiredness, your weariness. He is the God who has heard your prayers for many years and years. He is the God who sees your tears dripping down your face and he counts every one of them. He is the God who knows the very amount of hair on your head. He is the God who sees you as fearfully and wonderfully made in him. He is the God who knows what troubles you. He is the God who knows what's best for you. He is God. He is supreme. He is excellent. He's just amazing. And I say this because around this time of the year, there are some of us who deal with some things like, you know, it's the holidays. And we're like, I don't have the the best family or I don't I'm still single Lord or um you know I don't have the the job that I was hoping to have or I didn't write the the book that I was hoping to write and get done and I didn't start the things that I wanted to and so I you know you don't feel like celebrating you don't feel like uh being in the holiday spirit there's still some there's some discontentment there's some sadness there's some disappointment or I didn't get the house that I wanted or I didn't get the apartment that I wanted or I didn't get it accepted into the school that I wanted to. And so as the year dwindles down and we see many people celebrating, you know, the things that happen in their lives, um, you know, some of us don't deal with comparison, but some of us might say, you know, I really wish I would have done better. And we become so hard on ourselves. And I just want to tell you, God sees you. God heard you. He hears your prayers. He understands how hard it is and how hard it was this year. Um, and you are not forgotten. You are not forsaken by God. And I don't want you to allow the enemy to make you feel as though you are because we know Satan is a liar and he's already defeated. Um, and what he'll do is try to plant these little seeds. And I want you to know why everyone is celebrating. Celebrate with them because let me tell you, <laughs> it is not easy to be where any of us are in life. We go through storms, trials, obstacles, tribulations, and many things like that. And so when we see someone succeeding, we have to say, well, man, God bless them because especially, you know, true men and women of God, God bless them because there are fights that we could not survive in that they survived in, right? Um, and so I just want to tell you, sees you and he knows he really knows your heart and he knows what's best for you and he understands that there were some things that you didn't do that you could have done and you were supposed to do and he forgives you i think if you go into the new year not forgiving yourself not trusting yourself holding on to contempt and disappointment and sadness you're gonna drag that and it's gonna keep dragging and dragging because i was there once upon a time in my life from about 2017 to what 2019 middle 2019 just sadness sadness in the heart year after year wondering when was god gonna open the door back for me to do school when was god gonna open the door for me to work in my career the way that i wanted to and i'm telling you that sadness will keep you from purpose and destiny it will keep you from doing the things god has called you to do so i pray that you know that god sees you he saw elijah in the cave hiding out from his enemies and the sadness that took over the depression and the suicidal state that elijah was in and he loved him anyway and he said elijah get up there's more there's so much more for you he saw hagar in the desert in the wilderness and he said listen I will provide. I'm the God of provision. I will make a way for you. 
And he saw, you know, he saw David running from Saul, running from his enemies and running into the wilderness and different places and having no time to rest. But he said, David, I, I called you to be king and I still have plans for you to be king. Your reign is not over until I say it's over because I'm the author and the finisher of your faith. He saw these things. He saw the disciples screw like just running loose and wondering what was going on when Jesus was taken on the cross. He saw all of that and he brought them back together again. Every single person that stayed in God had a happy ending. And you may be saying with the disciples, well, um, they kind of died and all that. Like they died, but they died for Jesus. That is a happy ending. They fulfilled their assignment. They, they, they fulfilled their purpose, their destiny. And as a result, it was a happy ending. And I want to tell you, even in the middle of it all, like the disciples were, like many people in the Bible were, that, you know, that were spoken of, David, uh, Elijah, Hagar, and, you know, so many people, even in the middle of it, Abraham, because Abraham was waiting on that promise, but God saw him. Even in the middle of the waiting, even in the middle of the process, God sees you. He is El Roy. He sees you, the God who sees. And I pray that you remember this as you celebrate the holidays. I pray that you remember this while you're on your break or your vacation. I pray that you remember this when sadness and depression and anxiety tries to take over. I pray that you remember he is the God who sees you, like you. He's not just saying, how you doing? And not caring. He's not just, he doesn't want the superficial. You. And I pray that if you've been hiding from him because you feel like he doesn't care, because you feel like he's not with you, that you would return to the Father's place. Um, I remember with God, I was I was taking some time. This was a really tough semester for many of us. Um, we were doing school online, y'all. This, this was my first semester being back on campus after about what well, almost two years or something like that. Um, I can't remember how long it's been, but it's been a minute. And I was taking my master's online. And this was my first semester back in person taking my master's and I had to teach. And I'm running businesses, I'm doing ministry, I'm serving, I'm in mentorship. And I felt like I was just about to lose it. I'm like, what is going on? It was a lot to handle. And through all of that, I was like, God sees me. God sees me. Anxiety tried to take me, God sees me. He knows, okay, he understands. And the thing about it is anxiety and depression and sadness comes, and it comes to stay. I would say it comes to stay when we don't give God his rightful place. And I remember God had me write this song. It's called Rest In Me, which I, I won't sing the whole thing, but I'll, I'll start, I'll just do a little, a little small snippet. Um, and I wrote in this on December 3rd. This was when I was starting to begin to finish all my finals. Um, and this was the last day of school, the third. Um, and... I believe God wrote this song for me, but for many other, uh, many others and people who don't take the time to rest in him. And he's like, I got you. If you would just kind of let me be God and stop trying to control everything. If you would let me be God. Like when was the last time you told God it hurts? I'm frustrated. I don't feel good right now. Like this was a lie with Jesus. And when was the last time you asked him to fill you up again? And actually, when was the last time you just sat down quiet in his presence and was just like, I'm going to stop doing and I'm going to just be. And I took a moment out to spend some time with God, actually. Was it Saturday? It was Saturday. I went to my favorite park and I haven't been there since I moved. And I took some cute pictures with my little camera. And I'm telling you, the wind at the park was just blowing. I feel like I'm there. And, <laughs> Let me stop. and it was just so beautiful. I stopped doing, like I brought my journal and God was like, no, I want you to just be. Like, just be. I don't just be. And it was so, so good. And so I'm just going to sing this for you just a little bit. And I pray that this blesses you. And it was what God was saying to me. Um, but I know he's saying it to many of us in this season. Ooh, I'll try. I haven't sang in a minute. <clears throat> Don't judge me. I need voice coaching lessons. I'm actually looking into that. <clears throat> Can you be present in the moment? Relax in the scenery. Can you slow down for a second? Rest in me. And so... <laughs> God is saying, can you be present in the moment? Can you relax in the scene? Relax where I placed you, relax. Can you slow down for a second? Rest in me. 
And so I pray that you relax, that you know that God sees you and loves you. And go be whole in him. Go be whole in his presence. So I pray this video bless you. And I will see you in my next video. I love you guys so much. Oh, y'all, we had an amazing time on the live. Shout out to everybody who was on the live, who catched the replay and liked and commented. Y'all are amazing. And I, I really, really love my YouTube family. Sometimes I love y'all more than Instagram. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, but thank you so much for all the love. I truly appreciate you all. And definitely like, subscribe, share. If you want to hear more of this song, uh, Jesus is kind of pushing me to get it together and kind of sing it. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll hear it soon. 